Hey guys, it's Tom and back to another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle video and today we're gonna go over uh, the ultimate class guide for what? The 68th uh, ultimate class at, at Battlefield if you want to call it uh, So yeah So this time the goal is once again uh, Well, was it 5 likes and 100 view uh, views and hopefully I can hit that uh, and then I will I will make sure that I'm gonna make the next one for uh, the the 69th Ultimate Clash. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be from what I know. Well, 69th is gonna be the anniversary. Dokkan, I mean, uh, Virgil Dokkan uh, Ultimate Clash. So uh, I think it shouldn't be too bad, except for uh, I think from what I remember uh, from JP when I was playing JP, um, Beast Gohan was actually pretty bad uh, from what I know but but anyway if we hit five likes and 100, 100 views I'm gonna do a guide for that um, and then yeah let's let's start now that's the goal right here please let me hit that goal and then I'm just gonna keep working on the guide and uh, happy for me happy for, for, for all of you guys uh, hopefully I don't know but yeah let's go so the first battle is gonna be Yajiobi. Yep, uh, new bosses. So uh, I'm gonna bring once again. I'm gonna start with uh, artificial life, artificial life forms uh, slash uh, wicked bloodline. And as you can see, I have I have my I have the I have the leader suggested. I have the units suggested. It's pretty much the same thing as before. And since it's it's level one so you don't you don't expect you don't expect the bosses to be hard anyway so uh but this time um i'm gonna bring in uh attack attack metal cooler instead of the stl metal cooler because they they have a little uh they have uh type disadvantage so might as well just swap it out and uh bring in attack and metal cooler and that way if if we have tech uh, metal cooler instead of str str metal cooler we can we can finish the fight faster okay so yep that's it and then the second battle is gonna be general Ryudo. uh we're gonna bring in our ginyu force and uh whoops ginyu force right here and uh my like like you can see here pretty much and my rotations are very much the same thing uh, except for this time i'm gonna bring in uh, uh, the int the int uh, captain ginyu and but the thing is uh, my my rotation will be with uh Guro and Riku uh, alongside with uh, jace and berta and uh, the other rotation will be with a uh, uh, agl uh, Captain Ginyu and then the physical LR free to play uh, Ginyu Force and then I'm a, my floaters would be like once again uh, uh, the in, uh, Captain Ginyu and then physical Raccoon and also the other LR uh, free to play LR I should say tag Ginyu Force and uh, you can see that the stars are, are the same as the, uh, the, the symbol for should I say symbol but anyway uh it's the icon for for the for the leaders so so you can see I have uh, AG, AGL Captain Ginyu and also the tech uh LR Ginyu Force as my leaders so yeah that should be easy easy enough all right the third battle is gonna be nail in nail I'm gonna bring in my extreme physical team right here and so you can see that I have I have pretty much all everybody from from the uh, Margin Buu Saga. Uh, uh, pretty much Buu, uh, all, all the Buu's uh, Buu units. Like, uh, well, you, you, you see, uh, but but if you if you don't want to bring them, you you want to you want to bring other other unit. Then I have other I have other units just picked out for you guys here. Suggest so the unit like. Uh, Super Saiyan 3 Rose and then uh, Super Janemba if you want to bring 
Zamasu is okay too, uh, but Zamasu has to super before he, he knows how to dodge. And then uh, Super Saiyan, uh, Super Saiyan Broly, uh, and then a Meta I mean Meta Metafree Meta Frieza, and also also King Code. Uh, they they're okay free to play I uh, free to play unit anyway. Uh, and I got some uh, some leaders for you guys if you want to use them, go ahead. But uh, this is a team that I have. Uh, I did not. I did not rain, rain, I mean, I did not put it out like that though. Uh, in my in my run, I, I just did not care about it because I know I'm gonna win. Uh, I'm not trying to be cocky, but but yeah. Uh, so my rotations would be with uh, with Bu tanks, uh, Bu Hangs, if you want to call it Bu Hangs, in the first lot alongside with the 50% support uh, Super Bu right here. And then my other rotation would be with uh, Kid Bull because he's got damage reduction. And then alongside with also uh, Go Tanks, uh, Bull Tanks. And my um, and for my floaters, I have a Super Bull once again. This guy right here, uh, I think he's from the World Tournament uh, Award reward. And then also this newly easy aid, uh, Babidi and Mar Margin Boo. Yeah, after the easy aid, they, they are pretty decent. So you can get a good use on them if you want to. And other than that, I also have Margin Boo good. And, and I think he he is not relevant anymore, but, but he is there just to... I don't know. You, you don't have to bring him. He he he's not good anymore. To be honest. But 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 it's it's just in the level two of the ultimate class, so he should be just fine. Uh, so yeah, that's the team right here, and you can see that uh, uh, I have I have the fifty percent support uh, super bull and also bull tanks. Uh, this guy right here as my leader he is 100 percent uh, he's a hundred percent leader while uh the 50 percent support leader is 150 percent leader so yeah so that's uh that's a 250 percent support i mean uh, no not support sorry guys that's 250 percent leader skill right there from two leaders so yeah that's the team right here i got uh even though in my in my original run i actually have the i already have uh have the 50 percent support super Bu and also lr Bu Hans, Bu Hans as my leaders and i i, I think that that's not right because uh he he his uh his leader skill uh power absorption and also margin power doesn't cover uh Bobby and and margin boo good so yeah i gotta keep that in mind so if if you want to go ahead and do do the same thing but but like you can see i i'm having 150 150 percent uh leader from from super boo uh and also another 100 percent leader skill from so uh, 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 from boo tanks so that, that should do it and if you don't have the 50 percent support i will be doing this I will just switch it out, uh, switch it off, uh, uh, switch out uh, the fifty percent support super bull and have uh, bull tanks and uh, bull Han as my other leader, alongside with the uh, with the super bull or or actually you know if you look at it, it he is also 100 percent leader so it doesn't really matter which one you want to use as a hundred percent leader uh the super i mean super bull or or bull, bull, bull tanks it doesn't matter they are both 100 percent support 100 I mean, leader so so in that case uh we we we, we take out the 50 50 percent support super bull and put in um what do you call that uh uh omega omega shan run because omega shan run is is also under power absorption uh, category so he is good so he's gonna get 180 percent from from buhan and also 100 percent leader from 
the monotype super bull so yeah that should do it if you want you can not as you can put in maybe if you don't have a um, bullhan then just bring in uh, just bring maybe uh not i mean perfect cell sorry guys perfect cell or or even even uh you bring even even final form cooler is fine too so yeah that's it the next battle is gonna be SGR pen gt pen and we are bringing in uh, extreme agl team right here and you can see it's pretty much the same thing but uh, this time i i don't i think i didn't bring in uh I didn't bring uh, uh, Goku Black with me because I, I was like, eh, I don't think I need him to, to seal because, uh, yeah. I, I, once again, every every boss in this is in this batch of new bosses are sealable. So bring any sealers if you want. Uh, yeah, because uh, some some of them are pretty crazy. It, if, if you let them super you and they, they can hit over 300, uh, 300 thousand uh, then then a couple of a couple a couple normals after the super you are close to dead so bring your sealers so if you want follow up uh, the leaders units suggested uh, well, once again, these are the units that I already have, so just gotta keep that in mind. And then, uh, yeah, you should be good to go. So what what I'm what I'm doing is uh, I have uh, Zamasu, uh, you as uh, as one of my rotation first slot unit. Uh, he's got a forty percent damage reduction. He is really really good. Yep, and then he stacks attack and defense. He's gonna come back in third. Uh, when every time he comes back, I mean, not every time. The first time he comes back, he was transformed into um, what do you call that? Uh, Fusion Zamasu, and he's a beast. So you 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 want to have him if uh, if you want to I mean yeah if you if you do if you and mine mine mine's not even rainbow he is at 69 percent he's already killing it so yeah he's underrated I say so along alongside with uh, with Zamasu I have a full power freezer as my second slot unit in the first rotation and he, he's there to finish the job if if, I mean, he, he's still hit, hitting pretty hard, so so yeah. If you if you have him, bring him because in in the le in the level two of the ultimate clash, they are still not hitting that hard at the moment. So you never know. And then the other the other rotation I will have uh, Super Boo as my first lot unit, and then I have uh, Vegeta and. Vegeta and Nappa as the second as the second unit and second slot unit uh, they are they are doing okay man and mine is at 79 percent I, I don't even have any any skill orbs on them so yep that's my other rotation and my floaters will be super baby 2 and then I have Curlis for support and then also I have Ma Majita I always try to use his uh, first, I mean, the 12 key super because his 12 key super tends to be hitting a little harder since uh, his 18 key super is uh, AOE attack. So, yeah, as you can see, I have uh, Mar Margin Vegeta and also Zamasu as my leader, so it's okay. And uh, don't forget that uh, Dr. Willow and also the the uh, uh what do you call that babidi and the bra they are able uh, their 12 key super is uh, 12 key super is uh is able to seal and seal the opponent so and uh, oh actually dr willow is 18 key super to seal your your enemy so gotta keep that in mind and then uh yeah uh, Cell Junior is actually pretty good too because uh, he 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 knows how to dodge a little bit, 
uh, and then he is able to lower attack and defense. So, uh, well, in this case, uh, he 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 won't they, he, uh, Cell Junior won't be able to lower attack and defense because uh, because Pan nullifies that, cancels that. So uh, that's kind of suck, but it doesn't really matter. It's simple fight anyway. Uh, transforming Cell is so is still okay to use nowadays, but I, I he he won't be able to finish and, and I. I mean, he, he is not good to be uh, to be for the, to be used in, in the upcoming blue zone events or, or what do you call that? Uh, whatever, whatever battles spectacle or whatever. I don't remember actually. I, I play JP also, so I'm I supposed to know, but I, I, def I just forget. I just forget. Uh, anyway, but extreme. AGL is still not too good in my opinion. So if, uh, so yeah, oh yeah, you're right. Uh, I mean, I mean, uh, uh, Super Broly is coming. Super Super Saiyan Broly is coming as uh, Extreme AGL. So that that will be helpful for Extreme AGL, the type. So yeah, that's it. That's it. And since I don't have the uh, since I don't have uh, the extreme AGL 50% uh, lead, I mean 50% support. I this is the team that I have for for this event. Okay, the next one is uh, physical super Saiyan Kappa, and I'm gonna bring in my norm, which is uh, ter terrifying conquerors. And uh, if you want, you bring in your not monotypes, uh, uh, monotype team, and uh, I, I got I got a few, I got a few leaders and units picked out for you if you if you're interested. And uh, one one unit you might want to use if you are using monotype team. Uh, where is that? Where are you? You are actually okay. You, Dark King Full. He is able to seal. He knows how to dodge. It depends on how many orbs you take and you pick up. Or, but uh, I think he is pretty decent. And then, uh, yep. Once again, I'm gonna bring in my my ter terrifying conquerors team. Uh, but yeah, this is the team right here. My first rotation will be with a uh, cooler, and then with metal cooler. And they, no, not metal cooler. Sorry, guys. I mean final form cooler because uh, they link really well together, and and also they are both the leaders of this team right here. And my other rotation would be uh, prime battle, prime battles, uh, uh, prime battle freezer. Sorry, guys. I I know I don't know. I I forgot how to talk. Gosh, all oh, my speaking is just bad to begin with. And then. Uh, the second unit, uh, the second slot unit will be full power freezer, alongside uh, alongside with prime bell uh, prime bell free freezer in the first slot. No one knows how to tank for sure, but I think we are okay to eat just one super, and we, I think we should be able to finish off Kappa in one or two turns anyway. So don't worry. He's not that crazy. And my floaters will be Kaliza, and then I have uh, Metal Cooler. I mean, not Metal Cooler, I mean Me Meta. Mecha Freezer and King Code from. It, it, it's like a, it's a unit you have to buy from you know, by using the, the memory. Uh, the battlefield memory or something. And then my and my third floater will be Turles, the LR Turles. I can't wait for them to get it, to get his easy A. He's gonna be crazy eh, when he's getting his easy, let alone super easy. So yeah, that's the team that I have. I once again I don't have the fifty percent support for Extreme SCR, so this is the team that I'm bringing. Okay, the next one is gonna be Kid Gohan, and this, 
I am bringing extreme int team right here. So what's happening is uh, he is pretty crazy. As you can see, he is able to stun you. He, 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 he increases his defense by supering us. He, he dodges. Oh my goodness, he, he, he's just bad. So if you, I don't know, dude. Man. Anyway, doesn't uh, doesn't really matter. We just we just gotta do what we gotta do, and uh, and uh, once again, look at who who you want to use. I I, I even have a little, a little little icon right here. I mean, a little icon to show that uh, who is able to seal what whoever opponent com, opponent. So yeah, if you want pick pick the units in front from the list. And once again, there are probably. There are units that are better than this uh, this unit because I don't have every unit in the game, uh, but uh, pick out nicely. So for my first rotation, I have Zamasu and also uh, Perfect Cell because uh, I, I have I have you as my as my first lot unit of the first rotation because you got a 40% damage reduction and I have you in the first lot to, to just tank and also if you eat a super his super can actually heal you for 7% uh, health so if you give him I give him all I mean I give him uh, additional so, so he's got 21 additional I shouldn't put I shouldn't give him 13 uh, critical because he, he is not a damage dealer anyway so if I want to switch over sw switch over I would want to put more uh, put more critical into into dodge and keeping my additional because uh, if he gets he, he if he if he double supers then that's 14% of your health back that's pretty good and then you're not gonna be you are, you should be really familiar with this unit right here and he is the second second slot unit of the first rotation of my team and then my other rotation will be with chi lai he she is she's got like a 70 percent uh, 70 70 percent dodge chance let's take a quick look right here uh, Yep, great chance, great chance of uh, evading enemies' attack. So, same with the percent. So, I'll put I'll put her in the first lot, and hopefully, she doesn't get stunned. If she gets stunned, um, no word. If, uh, if she doesn't, then pray. We we have to pray for Gohan not dodging her super because we need her to be sealed. Uh, we need him to be sealed. Sorry, guys. And then after that, uh, we will have uh, Rose. We need her. Uh, we need Rose to get 19 keys, definitely, if possible. If if he gets 19 keys, uh, then then she, he he will be able to do two supers, and that's that would be a lot of a lot of health of a kid Gohan. So yeah. Oh, you, uh, Kid Gohan cannot be stunned, so forget about stunning him uh, by Rose 12 key super. And then we have Toa. Toa is, Toa, he, Toa is here for sealing, lowering his uh, lowering attack and also support. She is like a, she's still like a 30% support. No, 40% support right now. Oh my goodness. And it's got a high chance of an additional 10% support in attack or, de or defense. So, man, that's that's cool. And she's got a 50% dodging also. Gosh, what else can you ask for other than, other than uh, damage reduction? And uh, since she is not a uh, Dokkan Fest nor uh, an LR, she is not gonna get a super easy, which is sad. Sad. 
Uh, my first, my first, I mean, my first leader as my second floater of my team will be the 50% support uh, Vegeta. Uh, I, I mean, if you if you have all these fifty percent support you need use them because if your if your if your health is below fifty percent you would love this support unit man because they they would turn all every single orb on the map into whatever type your team is wow you what else can you ask for if you grab all the twenty 23 orbs and guess how how much health that you get you, you it's pretty much like a free uh a free a free heal you'll be back to full health again and let alone all the orbs that you take for for getting because because all the support units now, i mean all the all the 50 percent support units are now kind of nuky so the more orbs you get the better they are so you can't lose you won't get hurt you can't get touched and uh, my other leader will be goku black uh, the 20 120 percent leader skill but he is there so that's the team that i used as you could see in my original run so if you don't have them, if you don't have the 50% support, then I would bring in the Merge Zamasu, this guy right here, or Fusion Zamasu in the game, and then switch out, switch, switch out the the leader to Perfect Cell because he is still 120%. No, actually, you are 130% leader, right? Yep, 130% leader for Extreme Ink. So. So you get 130% from Perfect Cell and 120% leader from Goku Black. You get a total of 250% leader skill from both of them all together. So that's the team I would use. Okay, and the next one is gonna be Super Garlic Jr. in type. And I will be bringing my my super physical team especially uh, with uh, pure saiyan and hyper saiyan because i have got goku might as well just use them so what what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna have god goku as my first lot unit of the first rotation because uh he 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 orb changes for five turns uh, is it five turns actually or, or four i don't remember uh let, let me take a quick look sorry guys uh i used him quite the, uh, quite many times but oh no actually six turns okay never mind sorry guys uh because if you if you get three keys uh, he he he's got like a 60 percent dodge 50 percent or 60 percent i don't remember but he is really really good if you get if you get him six keys, he will be able to dodge. He's got 50, 50 to 60 percent dodging. He's got guarding. He's got double super. If you have, if you have, uh, if you have any luck with additional, you might be able to get triple supers even. And especially he is, uh, he is a stacker in attack and defense. The more super, the more super he does, the better. So. And then the second slot unit uh, of the first rotation will be um, the 8th year LLR, uh, Super Saiyan 3 Goku and Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta. They are, they are de defense stackers, so if you give them enough key, whew, they will, after like two turns, they, I mean, after two of their, uh, I mean, two of their turns, uh their defense would be really should be pretty high so you 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 love them and then my other rotation will be with bardock and super saiyan bardock in the first slot he 
he needs to get hit once uh, to get his defense buff. So uh, hopefully, fingers crossed that he doesn't get super right away because Super Garlic Jr. can hit hard with his super. Like he, he can hit over 300k or something like that from what I remember. And then I have Super Sam, Super Sam Trunks next to him because they link rather okay. No other, no other reason for that. And, and even though, even though Super Sam Trunks is super for like four times or three times or four times, he he can still get hit hard uh, by Super Garlic Junior. So yeah, I gotta keep that in mind. And then uh, my first floater will be Goku and Gohan because uh, because they know how to seal. Their super is to seal. So yeah, it's good. And especially they, especially Super Super Garlic Junior doesn't know how to dodge. So so you you'll be able to seal him. If you are able to seal him, done deal. You he you you won't you won't get touched. And then the next one is gonna be my other leader in the 50% support Gohan. And uh, if you're lucky enough, so this 50% 50, 50 support Gohan will be able to stun him, stun Super Garlic Jr. He's got like a what? What's the chance? High chance. So 50% chance to to stun Super Garlic Jr. So good luck with that. And then the the third floater. How sad! Ultimate Gohan becoming becoming the uh, the floater right here. War bench warmer, whatever you want to call it. Well, not really bench warmer because uh, because you get to play. So he is able to lower lower attack. So he is okay, and he is able to stun too. Right, the twelve key super. The 12 key super is able to stun from what I remember. Yep, medium chance though, 30% chance. So, yep, that's the team that I used in my original run. If you don't if you don't if you don't have Gohan, then just bring in uh, bring in the transforming Vegeta as your leader. Because he's uh, he's a super team super leader, right? Super class, uh, yep, super class leader. 130%. He should be he should be good as a floater. Just playing the game and just playing playing the magic and they play and just just fighting as normal. He's still the floater anyway, but yeah, it is what it is. Okay. Battle eighth battle right here. Uh Evil Boo. SGR Evil Boo. I'm gonna bring in the super AGL team right here and you can see that uh, they are quite stacked if you want there are many many uh, many other unit you can bring but this is the team that I have right here don't forget that you can you can bring pan to seal also you can bring uh, gamma 2 gamma 2 uh, gamma 2 is decent and then uh, Super Saiyan 2, Kale and Khalifla, they, they, they can super a couple times, three times after like two turns. Uh, after two turns of theirs, uh, they, they will be built up quite a bit of defense and also the chance of dodge chance also. So they, they are decent. And then I have the free to play Super Saiyan Gohan from, from the Cell Max movie. He is here because uh, he is able to lower attack, and uh, he, he he I think from uh, from his first turn he will be able he will be able to do triple super if you are lucky, and his first turn is guaranteed uh, critical. So that's pretty decent. Just trying to hide him before we seal him, and he should be good to go. Other than that, I think, I think, I think uh, Super Saiyan Goku and Super Saiyan Vegeta is okay. It's he's still usable in this fight because they're the 
18 key supers to low attack. Uh, they, they got a damage reduction from a member. I already got my rainbow. Crazy. Yeah, 20% damage reduction. Plus, yeah, 20% damage reduction. Think about it after his, after their super, it will be even even better. Yeah, greatly lower attack and super, uh, uh, lower attack. So they they're okay. And f don't forget about the free to play uh, Super Saiyan Gohan. He he is able to dodge and he is a good support unit also. So he's a good floater if you want to bring him right here. I haven't started working on him and while he's got a level 2 link, Super Saiyan Link. Uh, yep, additional chance of dodging. Yeah, so. Yeah. It's okay. So, my rotation is right here. The first rotation with Kai Goku in the first lot because he's got guarding. He's okay after he, he he's he's decent right here and and also if if our if our health is below what 59% or something yep is uh 40% sorry guys if he if our health is below 40% we got we will get 59% health back at the end I mean after the turn so yeah he is really really good and then alongside with Kai Goku we got Bomb Cool don't forget to give him 18 keys at least so he will be able to under I mean to lower attack and also seal uh, evil boo and then uh, my other rotation will be with uh, Super Saiyan 3 Goku Angel he is a tank for 4 turns so put him in the first slot, pos if possible, until he, he loses his uh, damage reduction, 90% damage reduction to begin with. And then you, you can put, it, put him in the, first, uh, in the second slot if you want to, because in the second slot, he will be able to get more attack and defense. Okay, the second slot will be uh, Super Saiyan 3 Goku. Uh, just got his EZA uh, maybe a month ago, so he's really really good damage output, <laughs> damage dealer. Yeah, he's really really good, and he's also got a chance to dodge also. Okay, for my floaters, I have Super Saiyan. Is it actually Super Saiyan Vegeta or Super Vegeta? I forgot. More like Super Vegeta since he's like kind of buffed. Yeah, Super Vegeta. He's able to seal. He he double supers most of the time. From what I remember, is it guaranteed though? The launches an additional attack that has a great chance, a seventy percent chance to that reduce the damage reduction by thirty percent. So he's got a thirty percent damage reduction. Damn, he is actually decent. He is able to seal. He is able to double super. He is able to. He's he's got damage reduction also. I don't know. Maybe I should actually put him in the first slot of the first rotation instead of Kai Goku. If I now after I think about it, and then uh, my second floater will be the first of my two leaders in GT Pan. He is another 50% support. And then, uh, yeah, and my other my, my other floater will be Super Saiyan Gohan. Um, yeah. He is nothing special other than a defense stacker and also a attack lowering machine, pretty much. You, you can get three supers from him if you're lucky. He can double super quite often it depends on how you build him i have i have pretty much all it oh no why did i no i thought i gave him all additional well maybe i should give him three dodge i i'm a i'm a believer of three dodge sorry guys but but it is what it is i'm gonna switch up the the i'm gonna switch up the 
the skill orbs a little bit later on. But this is a team that I used. If you don't have GT Pen, then I'll, I'll suggest you bring in uh, Pai Kuhan because uh, he's a 130% leader from Royal Member. Man, I still can't wait for him to get his EZA. He's gonna be crazy after his EZA. He's able to dodge, he's able to seal, he's able to lower attack. Man, greatly lower attack. Sorry, guys. He's gonna be a killer. Yeah, he is really good. I just can't wait for him to get his EZA. Uh, maybe sometime this year or, or next year. Early next year, maybe. Yeah, so this is it. The ninth battle against uh, Fat Bull. Physical Fat Bull. And yeah, let's go on my Super SDR team. And this is what I have right here. And uh, don't forget, bring your sealers. And also, Fat Bull is able to be lowered attack. So bring anyone who can lower attack, like. Um, uh, Boma, you can use Boma. Just give her seven keys, and he'll she will be able to double super, and he and and her twelve key super will be able to lower attack. So the the some submachine gun or something. So yep. Uh, but for for my case, I did not bring Boma for some reason. I don't know. I don't. I forgot. I forgot about her. Maybe, but I don't know. I could totally put her in for. Or GT Goku and Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, or or Goku and Vegeta. I don't know. So my first rotation will be with uh, with our first uh, leader. That will be Whis and Beerus. Don't forget, he he is able to. Uh, he is able to bring some health back for, for you after he, uh, every time he supers and, and uh, if you if you get the 18 key super you get 15% health back and if he does the 12 key super you get 10% back so if you triple super you get a total of 45% no actually 35% health back that's one third more than one third of your health bar what else can you ask for and after he get after they get hit once, he's got the buff in defense, defense and de attack, in, uh, attack and defense. So, and also dodge chance. Also, he he's got everything once he got the first hit. And uh, I have uh, Piccolo from from the from the uh, from the Coolant movie, and I am bringing him because. Because I want to seal uh, Fat Bull, but Fat Bull has got a 10% chance dodging, so fingers crossed on that. So that's my first rotation, and my second rotation start with a Super Future Gohan, Future Super Saiyan Gohan as my first slot unit. After that, I have uh, Rage Tr uh, Rage Vegeta as my second se second slot unit because I need another sealer in each rotation, and he's been the sealer in the second rotation. Just put it and uh, put him there. They share the the, the Golden Fighter link, maybe I think. Uh, let me double check. All right, come on, come on. Kohan, Super Saiyan. Uh, Super Saiyan, Golden Warrior, let's see. Where are you? Where are you here? Yep, Super Saiyan, Golden, Golden Warrior. So you get 15% attack. And all the all enemies defense minus ten percent, and also you got one key, so that's that's good. And my floaters, uh, the first floater will be another another leader in uh, Super Saiyan Kappa. He is okay. 
and then uh, I also have uh, Goku and Vegeta Angel I just got their EZA they are really really good now you don't let them transform because if once they transform the game is over they are just that good but yeah I don't know it's up to you guys I'm just saying that it's just how busted they Super Vegito is I'm just saying if you if you have a chance transform don't not not <laughs> don't please don't listen listen to me not to transform them okay and my my other floater would be uh, GT Goku and Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta yep that's it if you don't have Kappa Super Saiyan Kappa just bring in Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta and you see he's just another floater so it's okay you get 120% leader from him is it 120%? 130% sorry guys yeah he they, he, he, he was 120% mono leader because because uh, yeah that was that was uh, that was the hype back then for the uh, four year and fourth year anniversary Anyway, finally, AGL Metal Cooler, and uh, yep, this is it, guys. This is a team that I used. You can see that I have, I have a uh, 23rd World Tournament Goku and Dn as my leaders, but they're both my floaters. And then I, for my rotations, I would have uh, Orange Piccolo and. Ultimate Gohan, I uh, should I say, should I call him Ultimate Gohan or or Team Gohan, Gohan? But uh, it's really up to you who you put, who you want to put in the first lot because, uh, it, uh, but but I guess you might want to put Ultimate Gohan in the first lot actually because he he needs to get hit first to get his attack buff. And then, and then Piccolo will be getting hit to get and to build up his passive. So, so second slot would be fine. But he, he is he is quite tanky, even though he is in the first slot. Even he doesn't have guarding, no damage reduction. He is still pretty good as a first slot unit. I'm not talking about against like a like an in type boss. That would be, that would be pretty bad. I don't know. Okay, other than that, uh, my uh, my second rotation would be with God Goku. He's if you have if you have a movie boss or a pure Saiyan enemy, bring him. Seriously, bring attack God Goku with you. He is a saver. If you don't have him. I your your chance of winning will, will be lowered by fifty percent at least. <laughs> uh, maybe a little exaggerating, uh, but yeah, he is just that good. I mean, he is important. I'm he is really important. <laughs> I'm just saying, he he's got crazy damage reduction. His seals, especially in this battle. Metal Cooler is sealable. If you if you're able to seal Metal Cooler, the game is favoring you over him. And then I have him li linked up with uh, Transforming Trunks because uh, after the first turn, he will be when he comes back in the third turn or the fourth turn. Sorry guys. He will be transforming and he will be starting to stack attack and defense. Sometimes he will be able to super three times. I think he's he topped off at four times. I, sorry guys, I didn't even I didn't even switch over to the super AGL. I mean super tech team right here. I mean super tech right here. And my floaters once again the Super Saiyan. I mean uh, not Super Saiyan. What the heck I'm talking about? Uh, the twenty third World Tournament Goku and Tian and then also Super Saiyan Bardock and he is the other sealer if you can seal once again if you are able to seal 
metal cooler, you you almost won the game. What's happening is uh, he's got a 15% chance to dodge, but it feels it feels like more than 15%. Seriously, in the game, it, it, it's more like 30 to 40% rather than 15%. I don't know. He dodges like like UI Goku. <laughs> But it's true. It's true. Anyway, if you don't if you don't have TN, switch your switch your leader to to a transforming trunks. He's a hundred and thirty percent leader. From from what I remember, double check with that real quick, real quick. Yep, hundred and thirty percent leader. And then I will bring in. Go Bros, uh, they are a decent damage output dealer. And uh, if if you are able to seal, if if you are able to seal uh, Metal Cooler with God Goku and also Super Saiyan Bardock, you have you have Piccolo and and uh, Ultimate Gohan to to lower attack. The game is in your bag, almost. Pretty much, well, not not almost, like really close to do, uh, really close to be a dub. Seriously, unless you don't hit, you you you're missing missing hit here and there too much, too many times, then you will lose because uh, we only have ten, we only have ten turns to finish the battle. So we need we need Piccolo to get that over 10 million hit um, 10 million damage attack stats uh you want you want ultimate gohan to keep stacking attacking and defense once again get, put him in the first lot later on or, or or i don't know just because he needs to get hit to to get his attack buff in his passive so yeah let's switch him up there. All right, so this is what I have here for extreme extreme tech team. I have uh, what do you call that? Uh, world worldwide chaos team right here. Uh, so we have both 130% uh, leaders here. So that's a total of three, 340% leaders. Uh, from both leaders so the first rotation will be merge Zamasu and also Zamasu with Rose and Rose they, they link to, together pretty well so yeah you don't wanna you don't wanna miss out that and uh, my other rotation will, will be with this one right here uh, I have them as my first lot unit because it's got a 40% damage reduction and also 30% damage reduction if there is another margin with margin power category ally attacking in the same turn. That's the reason why I'm bringing I'm bringing that uh, evil boo so they can both where are you? They can both link pretty well and at the same time. Is giving uh, Evil Bull is able to give another thirty percent damage reduction to Fat Bull and Evil Bull. That's a total of seventy percent damage reduction. So you put him in the first lot, he will be able to take everything for you. And uh, once once they are able to transform, wait, hold on here. Transform exchange with uh, Majin Buu pure evil starting from third turn of so once he he is able to transform into evil boot you don't have to do anything else with them you don't have to transform them and transform him into super boot because uh, he will be able to seal we want him to seal so just keep him that way and he will be he will still be able to link well with Evil Boo. So, so other than that, uh, for my floaters, I have uh, Androids uh, 17 and 18. The first time they come in, 
and depending on how much health uh, metal cooler have left you they will be able to use the active skill to pretty much give you a ghost usher who's 35% uh, or more health yeah wait hold on can be activated when facing only one enemy though yep so you can just use it right away and they will be able to seal so if if you get them to seal seal metal cooler that's uh that's the beginning of your dub so other than that i have the 50 percent support uh, second form cell they are in. he is able to lower attack greatly wow so that's good and then we have prime battle cell uh, 18 key super will be to to lower attack also and the 12 key super will be able to give you 10 percent or 15 percent health back so yeah if you can double super with with him whew, that's 30 percent health back i mean i'm talking about double super with 12 key supers so double 12 key supers you, you get you get you 30 percent health back that's a lot of health so that's the team right here i have if you don't have if you don't have him oof if, i mean if you don't have the 50 percent support uh second form cell then i would suggest bringing in a uh, super boo here I, I mean he's not too good maybe but he is able to stun he's got a medium chance of stunning i give him all additional so he's got a little higher chance to st a little higher chance to stun if he double supers and then he gets he gets health back from supering i think yeah 30 percent of the damage dealt as hp so that's pretty good he's got 30 percent chance of dodging he's got a 30 percent chance of performing a critical hit yeah he i mean he is not that great de defensively but he will be able to save your team so that's the team without the 50 percent support second form cell and uh yeah that's pretty much that i I also t put out like three teams that I actually used uh, uh, yesterday uh, to beat to beat AGL Metal Cooler. So if you if you're interested, use them if you want. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah, once again, it, this is a really really long guide, and uh, I'm not sure if you guys have all that time. To listen to me but I hope you enjoy what you see and hopefully this is able to help you guys uh, even just one of you guys uh, I will be happy I, I just want to help the others to beat this event I, I, I mean I, I I don't buy I don't buy stones with my own money uh, with my money not a dollar so so I know how it feels like I I, I, I used to watch a lot of videos uh, like the other players how, how, how to play how, how to beat the events or whatever the other events and I, I think I I'm I love ultimate class I, I, I love I love battlefield because if you are more prepared about who you're gonna see who you're gonna face who you're gonna fight who you have if you are familiar with who you have in your box you have a really high chance to beat to beat the events and get that 30 31 stones but yeah it's just that simple simple so yeah i i guess i uh, i guess you guys are all really bored and and uh already left 
anyway but uh, yeah that's pretty much it guys for today's video hope you enjoyed what you see today and i will see you guys next time please help me hit the goal 5 likes 100, 100 views and i'm gonna be making the guide for the next battlefield see you guys peace